So, here we Here's the kid on the quad. Here we go. Finished. One 1987 Scarab 1. Obviously removed since uh, the last videos when I actually restored it. Lived something completely different. Now a lot more room, more projects. Basically there's a restoration, gel cut repairs, all of this had to be buffed back, um, very very dull, a lot of uh, sunlight degradation to it, it took three days to buff this out with the polishing mop and various grades of um, cutting compound, there's a few bits of damage which I've had to repair down here, that one there, and there's another one around on the top here, which is around here somewhere now, can't see it because it's all been done blown back in so main parts of the restoration were um, as you see for the other videos engine engine was shot frost damaged um, generally knackered worn out and had been left and um, yeah wasn't a very well unit so there was only one option for that was to scrap it um, and start again so it's got a brand new Vortec unit in there so a few more horsepower some of the uh, reliability issues engineered out from the earlier um, V8 as well. Turnkey unit straight in there. So, um, I remember rightly, four barrel Edelbrock um, carburetor. Here's the upgrade. Um, electric fuel pump rather than the mechanical one. Um, yeah, like I say, Vortec engine. So that was that part of it. Um, other repairs. Stripped down completely, rebuild the, the Alpha 1 drive at the back there. Um, some of the bits you had to convert around the back end here so the exhaust pipes um, they're bigger than what they originally were so the original ones were three inch the new ones there you see them are four inch not baffled nothing just straight out the top of the manifold straight out the back so as you see from the video video it's it's, uh, it's got a nice exhaust note to it fairly uh, fairly loud um, yeah and uh, get some looks when you're going down the river definitely it's bloody deafening you can hear it coming from a long way away, even at five knots. Um, so, swim steps, completely taken off and um, stripped all the varnish right the way back. Um, they're totally original, all the original woodwork that is. So, 30, 32 years old. Um, yeah, 33 years old now. Um, yeah, all of that done both sides all the original metal work these are new got these for it just to block them up because the old ones are rotted um new speed bow pickup down there the little fin just there you see another gel coat repair where it's been dinged getting it out um extra anode there on the transom housing the all new stickers on the um on the drive rams resealed um, original propeller, see how that handles when it's out in there. Water pump was uh, replaced, lift pump in the um, in the leg. Um, round to this side, uh, new, new, um, oh, what's it called? Big words out now. Some pump in this uh, inside, the bilge pump, so new fit in there, um, new automatic bilge pump in there with automatic controls. So a bit better than the original unit which was completely seized and blocked up with crap um these grills came from uh, came from china i think repros of the original ones exactly the same done the video on that before the badge where that was laser cut out and made um as you can see completely brand new interior exactly same specifications colors everything as original and now with rear seat so got the sunshade for it is actually particularly handy because it's all white inside it's very difficult to see when the sunlight's actually in there it's quite bright on your eyes um, i'm yet to make the carpet to go in there there you go all the original switches all got working cleaning bluetooth stereo unit put in there it's the unit there
that enables you to listen to music. There's new speakers down there. Kenwood three-way ones. Um, Interior-wise, complete rebuild of the interior cabin. Um, all the floor was rotten in there, so complete rebuild of that. Um, still, we've got the same cushions though. Still got the same cushions in there. Um, just a completely, there she goes again. Completely new floor inside the cabin, which is just up inside there. Take you up inside. Now. Side the boat, round the back, usual cup holders, badges, and down into here where the cabin is. So you've got the cabin out the front there, all original cushions. That there is a complete, um, complete sort of uh, kit which goes on the back, which completely enclosed the back end. So if you're staying overnight, you can. Uh, you can stay in it. It's a bit of a rare option that. Um, unused, totally unused, but it all zips and poppers onto the boat and gives you a complete cabin at the back, which you can use while driving. Um, and it all fits to the um, all fits to the sunshade. Zips to that. Original light fixings. They both work. And some old fan that someone's whacked in there, but I just left it in there. That's it. 80s uh, mirror. This thing here is an ice cooler. So down underneath there, you get a load of ice, chuck it into that box which is actually insulated on the outside, and it drains out the middle, drains down to the keel of the boat, out to the back, and then the automatic pump picks up on it and chucks it out. But you can keep all your beer in there. It's got some of the original writing on there from whoever made it. Lid for big value can, cold box, scarab. Someone's written on there, it's upside down, so you have to look it up. And then just the cushion which sits on top of it. Sliding door. Goes across, perspex screen. So when you're staying over, that's it. Back out again. I say, we're going to make a carpet to go in there. Should have a black one. That's what all those poppers are that are around down here. This black gets excruciatingly hot in the sun. It is painful when you put your hand on. My hands are a little bit more resistant to uh, heat, but my knees are not. It just burnt me. There we go. Yeah, so that's it. Um, once that little lot was all done um, and the repairs to the bodywork of it, um, it's had a full vinyl wrap. So I went vinyl this time, recreated the colours um, that it was supplied with. Um, yet to find one that has that word down the side of it like that, so I don't know if someone did that with this colour scheme um, But From all the old pictures that we have of the boat when it was uh, when it was new it looked exactly the same New petrol filler The old one had a funny like key arrangement, so we just put a new petrol filler on there, which is quite nice Obviously, it's American should really say gas but we're English, so it says petrol and then a new vent for the fuel tank there. Yeah.